Hello and welcome to the channel. The Nigeria police has warned troublemakers who are gearing up to disrupt the governorship elections to steer clear from election centers if their sole purpose was to foment trouble. They assured those willing to lose their lives for the election that they were prepared to kill. Talking tough, hey? If you are gas now, not them go first run. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you. We are ready to kill, ready to die today. Police warn troublemakers. The police have issued a stern warning to individuals and groups intending to disrupt today's governorship and state assembly elections held in 28 states across Nigeria. Anybody that wants to disrupt the system should be ready to die and anybody that wants to die should come out and disrupt the system. If you love your life, keep away, cast your vote, go home and wait for the results, the Deputy Inspector General of Police in charge of the Southeast, John Omadi, issued the warning yesterday in Umuahia while addressing officers of the State Command at the Police Officers' Mess, Umuahia. Meanwhile, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party in the February 25th general election, Peter Obi, has voted at his Amatutu polling unit in Agulu, a northern local government area of Anambra State. Obi, after voting at about 11.20 a.m., said he observed voter apathy and transactional politics, unlike the February 25th presidential polls. He also condemned the situation where politicians buy votes at all costs. He expressed worry that voters did not come out in March today, Saturday, because the result of the last poll did not reflect their wishes. He said, the electorate were discouraged to come to vote because of what happened in the last poll that did not reflect the people's wish. As the governorship and state house of assembly elections continue nationwide, the president, Major General Muhammadu Buhari, retired on Saturday in Daura, urged Nigerians to pocket monies distributed by vote-buying politicians, but vote their conscience regardless. He also said the new Naira policy has ensured a shortage of Naira notes that would have been used by unscrupulous elements to influence the outcome of the elections in their favor. I am aware that the money is not there like before for people to sway voters like they used to do, and if they bring out money now, the people should pocket it and still vote their conscience, Buhari told journalists after voting at Ward A, Sarkin Yara polling unit 003 in Kotsina. Senior Special Assistant to the President on Media and Publicity, Gaba Shewu, disclosed this in a statement he signed on Saturday titled, Nigerians know we mean what we say, they will vote for us again, says President Buhari. According to Buhari, the electorate should follow their conscience in choosing the right leaders, both state executives and legislatures. He affirmed that his regime had diminished the era of vote buying. Consequently, he boasted that the All Progressives Congress will emerge victorious in the governorship and state of assembly elections nationwide because Nigerians know the party means what it says and says what it means. The president noted that he was not surprised that the results of the presidential elections on February 25, 2023, which saw Bolat Sinubu emerging as president-elect, since the APC campaigns were thorough and detailed. I am sure we are going to win again, he said. He explained that the APC followed the constitutional procedure for the entire electoral process. These entails chosen a party chairman, Senator Abdullahi Hadamu, who had served as a two-term governor in Nasarawa State and legislator in the Senate with an experience that will secure the electoral value and relevance of the party. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and turn the notification bell on. Thank you. Buhari said Nigerians trust us because we mean what we say and say what we mean. We have maintained that trust. We told Nigerians that we will work for them and we have done our best in education and health facilities and Nigerians appreciate our efforts. The president also lauded the media for playing a major role in empowering people with information on their rights and providing a platform for voters to challenge leaders on promises and records. These efforts, he said, have deepened democratic culture and raised awareness among Nigerians. 
the media is doing very well in creating awareness and enabling the right conversation. You can hear the tough questions for leaders during interviews on TV, radio and other platforms and the journalists always press for answers, the president noted. Buhari's family members and aides also voted at the ward. Five candidates are vying to succeed Governor Aminu Masari this Saturday. They include the Hall Progressives Congress candidate Dr. Umar Rada, candidate of the main opposition, People's Democratic Party, Senator Lado Damake, Nura Khalil of the New Nigeria People's Party, Imran Najino of the People's Redemption Party, and Ibrahim Zakari, candidate of the Social Democratic Party. The International Police Chaplain, a foreign organization observing ongoing governorship and state assembly elections, says the election is peaceful in Lagos. The organization also confirmed that the exercise recorded low turnout in over 20 polling units it had so far visited in some parts of the state. Speaking in an interview with Saturday Punch, a representative of the group, Cesar Aguidi, said, So far, we can say that the election is doing great. We notice that at the polling units, everything is going right. There are no major incidents and they are having a peaceful election. We trust that everything should be this way till the end of the process. We have visited more than 20 polling units and we didn't observe any violence. We hope it stays that way. We have all our agents across the country and by the end of the exercise, we should be able to issue a general report, the observer remarked. Speaking further on the assessment of turnout, Aguidi pointed out participation of people is lower now when compared to the presidential election. Former Senate President Senator David Mark has urged stakeholders in the electioneering process to guide against any form of malpractices so that the results would reflect the wishes of the people. Answering questions from reporters after casting his vote along with his wife Ellen in Otukbo, Benway State, Senator Mark urged the Independent National Electoral Commission and security operatives to ensure that results represented the votes cast by the electorate. Senator Mark noted that the process had been peaceful so far, pointing out that a peaceful election is the desire of all Nigerians to usher in a new administration. He said, let the will of the people prevail. So far, the process has been smooth and orderly here in my area. I hope the process will continue seamlessly throughout the country. Senator Mark added that a free and fair election would guarantee a peaceful society which would ultimately engender progress in the country. That's the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye.